We've all seen massive ships, giant metal structures carrying thousands of tons of cargo. Ever stop to wonder, how do they stay afloat? It's a question pondered for centuries, a testament to human ingenuity. Think about a toy boat in your bathtub, it floats, right? Now imagine that boat scaled up thousands of times. That's a modern ship. The principle is the same, but the science and engineering are far more complex. In intrigued, let's dive into the fascinating world of buoyancy and ship design. Get ready for a journey through history and into the future of these floating behemoths. Imagine holding a beach ball underwater. You feel an upward push, right? That's buoyancy. It's the upward force that fluids exert on objects submerged in them. Here's the key. If the buoyant force is greater than the object's weight, it floats. Think of that beach ball again. It's filled with air, making it light. The water pushes it up harder than gravity pulls it down. Voila, it floats. Ships work the same way. They're designed to displace or push aside a huge amount of water. This displaced water creates an upward force, buoyancy, that counteracts the ship's weight, keeping it afloat. Our ancestors understood buoyancy long before they could explain it. Early humans used simple rafts, logs tied together to navigate rivers. Over time, shipbuilding advanced. The ancient Egyptians built sturdy wooden boats using sails to harness the wind. The Greeks and Romans followed suit, constructing large warships and trading vessels. These early ships were marvels of their time, but they were limited by materials and technology. Enter the Age of Exploration. Europeans, seeking new trade routes, demanded larger, stronger ships. This led to innovations like the Caravelle, a fast and maneuverable ship that helped explorers circumnavigate the globe. Today's ships are technological wonders. Steel hulls replaced wood, making them stronger and more durable. Powerful engines propel them across vast oceans at incredible speeds, but the innovation doesn't stop there. Modern shipbuilders use computer-aided design, CAD, to create highly efficient hull shapes. Lightweight yet strong materials like aluminum and fiberglass are becoming more common, and who knows what the future holds? Perhaps we'll see ships powered by renewable energy or autonomous vessels sailing the seas. So the next time you see a ship, Take a moment to appreciate the science that keeps it afloat. It's a testament to human ingenuity, a floating marvel connecting us across the globe. We've all seen massive ships, giant metal structures carrying thousands of tons of cargo. Ever stop to wonder, how do they stay afloat? It's a question pondered for centuries, a testament to human ingenuity. Think about a toy boat in your bathtub, it floats, right? Now imagine that boat scaled up thousands of times. That's a modern ship. 